country. A dilemma facing millions of Americans is what will happen to their lives and their legacies if they don't have a will and other estate planning documents. CNBC senior personal finance correspondent Sharon Epperson tells us how the family of a famous movie actor is now trying to figure that out. Black Panther movie star Chadwick Boseman lost his long battle with cancer two months ago. Now his wife must contend with courts to determine what happens to at least part of his estate. You worked your whole life to accumulate your property. You want to make sure that it goes to the people you care about. That may not happen without a will. Bozeman died without one, leaving nearly $939,000 in his estate in what's known as probate, a legal process that distributes assets after death. A new survey shows the majority of Americans, 62 percent, don't have a will. And 27 percent of those who do said they got it because they were afraid of death or serious illness related to COVID-19. If you're critically ill, as this attorney points out, a will is not the only key document you'll need. No matter how much or how little you're worth, you all need a health care power of attorney, health care proxy, living will, durable power of attorney, and other financial directives to make sure that your wishes are carried out if you become incapacitated but don't necessarily pass away right away. Now, the cost of these documents can vary widely. Having an attorney create a comprehensive estate plan could cost several thousand dollars, but you can also go online and do a basic will for less than a hundred bucks. Becky? Hey, Sharon, these are uh, big questions that a lot of peaceful people face, but if you think you really are ready to have a basic will, what, what do you need to have ready? What documents, what thought process? Well, the thought process is key. You have to figure out who you want to be doing key things in your life. Who do you want to have as your beneficiaries? Who do you want to be the executor of the will to decide where to help execute where things are going to go? Who do you want as guardians for your children? And then you want to make some specific arrangements about where assets are placed and where they should go. So all of those things are things to think about, talk about, write down, and talk to the people that you want to give these designations to, to make sure that they're equipped with knowing how to do it, too. Where can you go if you want to get some legal help to try and get an estate planning done? Well, the best place to go is to talk to your family, friends, colleagues, and your financial advisor and get some recommendations, perhaps, from them on who they may have used as an estate planning attorney. There are also a couple of organizations, traders or organizations for estate planning attorneys, like the American Council for Trust and Estate Councils, as well as looking at the National Association for Estate Planners. Those are two organizations that you can look at. But we have a lot more information about this on CNBC.com slash invest in you, places that you can go. The bottom line is, Becky, you got to do it. It's such an important thing that you can actually control. It is. It's hard to make decisions like that, but it's even harder if you don't make them. Um, Sharon, I know it's something a lot of people are exactly. thinking about, so thank you. It's great to see you this morning. By the way, folks, Good. we should note that NBC Universal and Comcast Ventures are both investors in Acorns.